Hello and welcome, this is Antwolf of part 19 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Where we last left off, we had done two parts together where basically we were searching through the never for some never, never wart to conclude and help with my brewing. And the first part was rather uneventful, and the second part I kind of just waited until I found a never fortress before beginning recording. Hope you all uh, forgive me for that. Where we last left off, um, we had managed to get back onto the island and we had made a never wart farm using the soul sand. And then I kind of stood here for about half an hour, letting that grow, letting my crops grow, cutting down trees, just basically gathering materials ready for the next step, which was finally building a village and like getting our brewing set up. So I've kind of like left it for half an hour again. I didn't want to basically stand around and bore you all with them. Um, my inane chatter. What I did do as well is I used quite a few of my stacks of dirt, about five or, th five or six stacks, to make this flat area of land, which I am probably going to have to enlarge at some point, but this is going to be the starting point for my village. Um, I just opened it up a little. It may need to be a bit wider, I think, because I am going to make like a U-shaped village. I've never done this before. I have been using the... Oh, I need my axes. I have been using the Minecraft wiki to get some hints and tips on how to do it. So I might do it completely wrong or I might get it right first time. We will find out. But that's all the fun of Minecraft. It's totally sandboxed and you do whatever you want and hopefully it all works out for the best in the end. So I planted some trees here while I was waiting and to get some more um, logs and planks. And for anyone who is experienced in building villages and mining, um, uh, building a village in Minecraft, I am using what is probably going to be called the apartment style. I could make up my own style, but supposedly this is a tried and tested way of making a village. Um, wow, it's a big tree again. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. First of all, though, we will need a place to set up our brewing stand. And I thought I might use my hobbit hole actually. Since it's there and it serves no purpose anymore, I might as well give it a purpose. And so let's go get the materials I'm going to need. Uh, iron ingots, blazing rods. We have cobblestone, we have glass, good. Uh, what else do I need? Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Uh, I'm going to need my spider eyes, gunpowder, what else will I, oh I'll need um, some sugar cane, I think that's it, if not we can always come back, anything from here, I don't think, oh never water, yep, yeah, okay. So let's go down and see how we get along, basically. Here we are. I, oh, I need my... I uh, have some iron. Ah, uh, go on, let's be lazy. We need some buckets. Fall do me. Let's go back up to the surface. And I am making another refillable water source why well, I've already got two on the surface I know but one just next to the brewing station I thought it would be easier than building a I think it's a cauldron because a cauldron does hold enough for three glass bottles but yeah I have an infinite if I have an infinite water source then there you go so a brewing stand needs one blazing rod and three bits of cobblestone. Excellent. We haven't failed so far. So let us place this here. We will add some light. And then we need glass bottles, which are this. No, they're not that. They're that. And if we use that, we can place... Three glass balls. So we can make three potions with one bit of material. I think that's how it works. I will get some wood and make a, another chest. 
And I realised I don't got no space anymore. That's bloody typical. Ah, uh, there you go. Just for a moment while I put these down. There you go. Thank you. So let's just put our raw materials away. I've never made sugar. It, I've got sugar cane, so how hard can it be? There you go. 64 bits of sugar. Excellent. So how do you make paper? Is it a straight line of... Oh, bugger. Is it a straight line of sugar cane? Yes, it is. Okay. You live and you learn. Or you live and you die. Whichever way you want to put it. So, let's have a look at... Oh. So, how do I add water to these balls? Does that sound silly? Probably. I'm not too sure. I should add one bit of never water then. Or do I need to fill the glass, the water bottles up? Let's have a... Oh, crying out loud. Aha! That's excellent. That's how you do it. Okay. Brewing stand. Excellent. Right, we have water bottles. So, one bit of never ward in. I have researched this. I hope I don't get it wrong. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, so that's progressing there. Meanwhile, we can drop more raw resources in. Paper, no... Never wart, yes. Spider eyes, yes. Uh, yeah, blazing rods, we may as well pop in. I don't think we're going to need that. Gunpowder, yes. I don't think we need anything else. Oh, glass bottles, I suppose. So we now have awkward potions. We need to make a fermented spider eye. For that, oh, we need uh, mushrooms. Oh, and Christ, it's dark. I think I have some brown mushrooms in my chest. If not, it means a trip into my mine shaft to see if my mushroom farm has actually worked. Because I honestly don't know. Uh, oh, I do have some brown mushrooms. I don't, I don't, actually, I wonder, if, um, I wonder if red mushrooms work as well. In the wiki it says brown, but there's no reason why not to try. Uh, looks like all our never water has grown again, so we could always do that. So how do you do this? Um, one mushroom. Oh, bugger. Need sugar. Thank you. One mushroom. One bit of sugar. Oh, for crying out loud, I need the spider eye as well. Spider eye, sugar, mushroom. Nope, that didn't work. Mushroom. Fermented spider eye. Okay, we have five of them now. And with a fermented spider eye, we can turn an awkward potion into... Oh, no, just a one. We'll let that work. Uh, we need a gunpowder. So brown mushrooms work, but red mushrooms don't. Well, we know that for next time. So it'll be that, be that. We need sugar. Our brown mushrooms. Gunpowder we need in a moment. Okay. Potions of weakness. When applied, it gives us a minus 0 0.5 attack damage. But if I add some gunpowder to that. Do, 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 do. Any moment now. Splash potions of weakness. Excellent. These are half of what I need. Oh, no, take it off. Local brewery. Excellent. Half of what I need to convert a zombified villager into a normal villager once more. Oh, bugger. I need to fill them back up with water. Oh boy. There we go. Do you ever 
want is a golden apple, which I forgot how to make a golden apple again, which... Is an apple surrounded by gold, actually? Is it an apple surrounded by gold? Let's find out. <laughs> if it is, that would be ridiculous, but... For some reason, it's... Tickling the back of my mind. Where's our gold? Where's our apples? Oh, they'll be in that one, aren't they? It is! <laughs> An apple surrounded by gold. We need a lot more gold then if we're going to be doing more than one villager. Okay, so we have golden apples, we have potions of weakness. Splash puts potions of weakness as well. So we need gold, apples. Right, okay. Oh, for crying out loud, there you go. We might as well make some more glass bottles while we while we're here. They can't stack sadly. There you go. So all our water bottles ready for the next ingredients. Can we do some more? We might as well, I suppose. Spider eyes and gunpowder. I might as well continue. And we'll farm a little while it's working for us. Oh, more wheat. But yeah, I don't think we need to go back into the never at any point now unless we really, really want to. I don't. It's always a fun place to be. In fact, we can stay on the overworld now and just basically see if our village will develop. I don't know if we'll do anything from that, but that was my, that's my goal of this uh, this season. So, how are you all doing? Oh! Drowning. The one problem will be that I'm going to have to have zombies spawn on this island, which means I'm going to have to take the, the light sources away from my borders. Which is going to be um, risky. Because everything could then spawn on my island. And from reading, from researching a little, um, supposedly it's only 1 in 20 zombies will actually be a infected villager. Or a zombified villager, I suppose. Which doesn't hold um, great joy for me, to be honest. Because what's the chances of that? If it's a 1 in 20 chance, uh, my look at gambling isn't all that good. Uh, so we have extra materials there. What we can do, we've got paper there now, uh, we don't need those, so let's stick the iron away, what, what extra things do we have, oh there we are, we could get an enchantment, an enchanting table going, it's half the reason why we were getting all the leather. And we're going to have to sadly go hunting for more gold, which is always going to be an adventure. A little bit more gunpowder. Excellent. And then it's another three potions of weakness. While that's working, let's go collect some more neverwort. Yeah, it's mostly all grown now. Excellent. Oh, that wasn't. That was silly. all up.
we don't need as much as this as I thought we did. Considering we only get um, three potions out of one never wart. But I wonder if it can be... Uh, I don't know if it's useful for anything else. But I suppose having an underabundance, overabundance of something isn't a bad thing. Oh, we forgot to fill the holes in here. Whoops. So we could be just wasting our materials. There we are. Full stack in a bit. Ah, more potions of weakness. Excellent. Right. We'll leave them there for the moment. Ah, more we'll never wart. Excellent. Now what do we need to do? We can begin working on the village actually. And we might as well, the day's just started. So I'm gonna get my logs out and we will start construction. I have a load of wood somewhere, there's some there. And there's a load there, excellent. We won't use the spruce wood, we will just use the traditional planks. And I will need some doors, so... I'm going to need more doors than that. Oh. That'll do. That might be enough. Yep, that's too many doors. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, dear. What don't I need? We don't need this many bits of equipment, that's for sure. Right, okay. That'll do. So, designs. Designs for an apartment. Say, I would like to make it a U-shape, but obviously with it not being wide enough at the moment, I will just stick to a design going this way. So, first things first is... Oh, we need more planks. We're gonna need a lot more planks. Oh, I will just get my my handy guide here, right next to me. I'm gonna need a space and then more planks. My doors. Can we get the doors stacked? No, we can't. Unfortunate that. One and two. And then two more blanks. Now I think we need a ha we need a room to actually keep the zombie like the zombified villager trapped while we're in the making like while he's getting turned because it takes time so this is not really going to be too suitable for that but for making or the eventual places where they're going to live this will shoot, suit just fine uh, we need our axe there thank you will be a house or an apartment as they call it that's the style it is and it can be extended further using the same sort of style now I think the more houses you have depend on the unit size to have the more chance of villagers spawning and the maximum population it can have say so these are things I don't really know and I'm just gonna have to pick up with time and see how they work basically but, see, we'll just, we will 
grow this outwards along this way and basically let's see where it goes from there we will as soon as we can get our first couple of villages i'll be a bit more happier more doors let's get plank there so we can jump up right so I don't know how silly this will look. Oh, nope, put that there. Don't need you there anymore. So yeah, basically that's kind of how it works. I think anyway. Obviously you could make them like a proper house. You could have like a proper interior. We could, whoa, hello. We could do out the floor. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 could drown, not good. Quick, escape. Oh crap, we just lost the door. Nice work, clocks. Thank you. There we are. A bit more homely now. We've actually given them a, a, an actual floor now. Uh, get my axe there, thank you. It's not really necessary, but, you know. Yeah, it tidies it up a little. Looks, it looks a bit um, nicer to actually have a proper a floor there. nicer we've got four more doors so we could make another apartment there we might as well all out. Excellent. So yeah, this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but this is actually part of getting ahead and actually making the the housing for our villagers rather than me just standing there doing very little. Oh, come here. Oh, we're crying out loud. <laughs> One thing I'm going to have to consider is uh, making sure they don't fall off into the abyss. I might have to make a fence on the outside. When I say might, I mean will have to make a fence on the outside. Please, thank you. So, yeah, there we are. I don't know how many villagers can populate our village with that many 
little bits of apartments because they can stack higher as well. I could go up a level. I honestly don't have a clue. But yeah, we can start building our house. Um, I should consider... I'll get a load of more planks and a load more than that as well. I will build a house to trap the zombies in while they aren't alive, basically, while they're turning. And I might as well build that here. So. Oh, silly. Uh, if you have it, we need to even it up, so we need to put one there. No, we don't. That's silly again. Ignore me. Sound a good dark. Why am I doing this? Ah, <laughs> uh, it is. It's night. It's it's dark here. It's night time. I'm starting to get a bit tired. I suppose. Not thinking straight. If I ever thought uh, straight in the first place, sort of. Right. So. Better be thankful for all the effort I'm putting in for them. I can't believe I'm even considering putting in a window for these guys. They're gonna be zombies, they don't even care, but you know, home comforts and all that. somewhere. There you go. And last but not least. I think I have some glass pane somewhere. growing nicely again. We need... No, we don't need that one. Well, we might do in a second, but not just yet. Do we have... Oh, we have one bit of fence, but I need some more, so I need some sticks. That's fine, I've got wood here. What else do we need? We have torches. Oh, we need our glass panes. That's what we needed. Just couldn't think for a moment there. Okay. So we need... What would we need? Sticks. That'll do us. We didn't need that many fences, but we might do use them eventually. Yeah, okay. trees are grown again so we can cut them down in a short while. Yeah, and 
here. And up, up, up there, and we'll stick one. Nope, that's not where we want it. Come here. Oh, for crying out loud. There you go. Oh, we didn't make our door. God damn it. Oh, we got more melons and another pumpkin. Uh, door, please. Oh, they could break down that door. Okay, so... We need a button and we need our iron. Do we have any, do we have any iron down here? No, we don't. Okay. We'll need a... Hi there! What do you think you're up to? Crap, I don't have a door on this side. That's not good. <laughs> That's all I need is a creeper to decide to um, drop down and blow up inside my house. I think I would cry. Ah, see you. Don't you be getting ideas. Oh, bug up, but I've got those here. Okay, that's fine. We need, sadly, to break them for the moment so I can stick this here. Excellent. I'll stick them on the outside then. There we are. Excellent. Modern engineering in the in the in the works there. So we have a house to trap a zombie. Realizing that if I was to do this and try to lead a zombie in here, I would then get trapped inside with it. Oh dear. You know. Oh, I didn't need four buttons. God, bladder. There you go. Right. I won't make a pressure pad because that would be ridiculous. And yeah, okay, so we have a trap house and the beginnings of what could be a village if the wiki is correct and that's how you set it up. Or I've set it up correctly anyway. I'm not too sure. But when we find some zombies, which I will probably do next turn if I don't go mining for gold. Actually, no, I'd rather try this to make sure it works first. Yeah, next time I will basically turn out the lights. I will destroy most of these torches and hopefully have some zombies spawn on this island. And we'll see how this goes. And hopefully I don't die. Or, yeah, basically. So, I've been playing for about 30 minutes now or so. I'm not too sure. I forgot to set my timer. But I will leave this here and next time we'll see how things go and hopefully it all works out. So, this has been Anfulf, and I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all take care, and I think this is the end of part 18, or no, part 19 of my Minecraft series. So, I hope you all take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.